Hello and welcome to another update video for Bitcoin or about Bitcoin. So, yeah, Bitcoin hasn't really moved much today or let's say yesterday already. <laughs> so hasn't moved too much um, more, pushed a little bit higher. But then since my last video, only sideways consolidation, I did explain to you that it's possible that from this region, it is possible that Bitcoin starts a pullback that could be in the short term bullish scenario, a wave two pullback. So let's talk about the, uh, the two scenarios, short term bearish, short term bullish. First of all, the overall correction, yep, could be completed here in wave four with a swing low on the 1st of May. Downside structure looks a bit incomplete on the micro level, on the micro level only on the, you know, looking at the bigger picture. Certainly the price has come down deep enough into my trend reversal or support zone here in which we expect a way forward to complete. However, it is not entirely clear if the low is really in because that will depend on the successful, um, well, on the, let's say on the holding of the support area, right? So the bulls need to hold that support area here between 58,175 and 61,359. Whenever we have a break above resistance, which we did have, we can be watching if a low is in. However, it takes a first so-called one, two setup. So of course it could go still lower in the short-term bearish count here, which is the white scenario. There's actually another short-term bearish count, which I shared with you in one of my earlier videos today, which is just sort of um, looking at an expanded flat here, which is, uh, or a running flat, which is, possible but yeah i mean it's possible it just means that um it, it would make a great difference that's what i try to say so if we break down from here now it doesn't matter if i label that as a b wave high or something different but yeah let's say in a short-term bearish count it's possible that we say okay as it's uh highlighted here this was an a wave down a b wave rally and we're now in the c wave down of an ending diagonal one, two, three, four, five, or, and this is just another possibility that we're saying, okay, this B wave never finished. It just formed a very weird A wave, B wave overshooting to the downside. This is now a C wave up and then we break down. So again, it wouldn't make a great difference. It's really up to the bulls now to hold the support area here and if the bulls can do that then i think the low is in okay then i think the low is in which means what we need to do is we need to focus on this orange support region now it would offer a pullback opportunity for let's say pullback traders or for anybody who's um, looking for a you know a long position i'm not telling you to buy here i'm just telling you to watch these levels perhaps the price will turn around and there is a chance for it if we get a five wave move up, well, we actually have a five wave move up, but I explained to you in the previous video, it's a questionable five wave move. It can only be a diagonal. So again, it's possible, but because we have here a first three wave move up, I shared that with you in the, in the last video. It's just an, um, it's a diagonal. You can't trust these. So just looking at the structure of the move up doesn't really help us in determining if a low is in because as I just showed you this could also be a B wave rally which consists of an A, B, C and the C wave is a five wave move. So just having five waves up isn't enough to confirm that a low is in. It takes as always five waves up and three waves down. It's the upcoming potential um, or the potentially upcoming three wave pullback and the support area is well defined between 58,175 and 61,359. Now that pullback could have started. Okay, if we zoom in a little bit, then you can see that, yep, the pullback, no, not like that, but the pullback could have started. You see here, this is at the moment just sideways movement, but the move down, yeah, we have a bit of a red candle there. Um, but yeah, you, you see a bit of downside momentum, selling pressure, but it's not strong enough for me to really say the move down has started in the previous video earlier today. I highlighted to you to basically indicate that the wave two has started as a pullback. I would like to see a break below that last swing low at 62,600. Until we see that, 
that, you know, it could easily still extend higher in an extended fifth wave because this fifth is very, very shallow. But we're really doing here only micro counting. That's not so reliable. Spending so much time in the micro is very unproductive, but I know a lot of you are interested in the micro. What is much more important is to focus on the levels, okay? we we'll get to that in a minute. Just want to share with you that um, we shared today a video, a TA video on X, exclusively on X, not on YouTube. It's uh, the Pepe update. So feel free to check it out. If you're interested, you'll find the link in the description to our um, X or Twitter channel. Once a week, we plan to publish a video exclusively on X and today Pepe, okay? We typically do that on the weekend. So check it out if you're interested. Also make sure you follow us here because there are plenty of other updates. Now let's go back to Bitcoin. What I wanted to share with you is the levels do matter. The levels do matter. So maybe you did accumulate in the larger support zone. That's one way of doing it. Um, or maybe you didn't want to. Yeah, maybe you were a bit scared because that's what corrections do. Okay, they scare people, they bore people out and then you get sort of inactive you're not doing anything because either you get a bit scared or frustrated by the correction or you think there might be that one more last low which again it all comes down to micro counting which is useless it is to a degree useless the only reason or there are a couple of reasons to do micro counting one is to understand when we have the first five wave move up which we might have now so it's one possible benefit that we can define the next support level um, and the other benefit is just for me to make the analysis a little bit more transparent. But micro counts shift a lot in corrections. Yeah, I say that all the time. That's completely normal. The analysis um, does not depend really on micro counting. The analysis, the, the real focus is on the levels. Okay, and the levels have not changed since middle of March. And this was a perfect support zone the price might be turning around and happy days okay so please please as always don't focus on the counts please only focus on the levels the levels for the next pullback are on the chart but it's a bit too early bit premature to confirm that this pullback has started that's my update about bitcoin hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.